Hey folks, welcome back to Aloft. I'm back from my trip and can't wait to get back into this game again. Actually, I've been the last hour in here finishing this guy, or at least uh, getting the perimeter of it done, the shell. Let me go over here a little bit. I gambled, gambled? Is that the right word? That end of the roof and gabled this end of the roof. A little bit of variety, but I thought that would look good over the porch, but I didn't have a porch over here. Though I guess we could think about that, gabling this end over here and running over the top of this part. That level right there. I think it would feel kind of low, though. It, it does... The floors need to be about a foot higher. They're tight. They really are. These walls need to be taller or... What I did on the third floor up here was I stuck another half floor in there, another half wall, the one that goes underneath the uh, the windows right there. So I was able to get a little bit more height here rather than have the the uh, the, the slant of the of the roof hit right down there and kind of hit you in the head at this point. But um, threw that up in there just for fun played with the really small skinny staircase to get up here and found that I can put another little half floor quarter floor right there I don't hit my head until at this point if I put it here though I would hit my head trying to go up but I can get away with that so it gives me just a little more floor space so I don't know what's gonna happen up here it's got a nice look down over the bottom there this area here, I figure, is the work area, workshop. So, storage in here. Planks, logs, leaves, and uh, stones so far. Uh, storage is over here. What are we lacking? Long leaf cloth. This is the leaf cloth storage. So, what is this? I, I don't know. <laughs> what do you do with that? <laughs> I mean, does it count as a wall? Can I just stick it there and call it wallpaper? I mean, that's kind of cool. We can do it this way. Can I lay it down on a floor? Okay, if you know what this part is for, let me know, because I really don't know. That's the first time I've noticed it. I hate to waste five of them right there, but, uh, yeah. Curtains? I'm not sure what you do with that. <laughs> but we've got wool storage, so apparently there's sheep out there somewhere. We've got storage for these guys, which could be... Hmm. Let's put some more storage over here. And rotate you. Now, let's, let's give it so we can see it. It's got a nice look to it. Maybe a diagonal. All right, something like that. Okay, and we had, oh, interesting. There's supposed to be rope storage. It's like a, like a coat tree, but it's not here. I guess I haven't made enough rope yet to uh, make that work. So all we have left is this guy. Um, let's go where? Let's go here, workbench. Quite a few new things to try out. Oh. There's something to do with coal. Maybe that's our torch. Coal and water. I thought we did that. Made clean water? Maybe I did that before. That might be the case. Let's craft... I don't think there's any need for dirty water, so let's just go until we run out of dirty water. There we go. I had 30 of them. And it is drawing from... See, 162 wood... It is drawing from our total uh, global storage. I only had six logs on me. The rest are over there. But from the workbench, it's able to draw from all of them, which is really nice. I like that. All right, so what else can we do with this guy? You and a plank becomes, and two of them, becomes a shears. Cool. Okay, toss you guys back. Bones and a sharp and a bone all becomes more of these guys good and that's it 
That is it. So we have rope to make. Let's go ahead and do that. That will probably open some things up for us. There we go. Rope and this guy. We had found that. That's right. Oh, and yeah, this is the episode three. So I recorded episode one and two. And you. And only afterward realized, first of all, my face cam over here was hiding some important stuff over here. So I moved that over. I think it is in a good place now. Um, also, I noticed that that one island that I had missed those things in that chest. So we'll, we'll sneak back there. Um, what is it asking for? Another one of these and another one of these. Okay. This creates a storm shell trinket. When installed on a tool through an upgrade station, strikes are faster while in high winds. Okay, interesting. Pop you guys back out. What else is around here? Boy, lots of stuff. You, and another one of you, and another one of you, and another one of you. A stone dorkip. Tool that can be used as a hoe or a spear. A doorkip. Okay, give me the bone version of that. Boom, boom, boom. There you are. No, that's a bone pick. Okay. So, another bone and another rope. Bone hammer. Okay. And a plank. And a rope and a plank. A wooden bucket. Okay, so the the planks make the bucket. Okay. I thought there'd be vertical pieces in there or something. It's kind of odd. Boy, so many things to build with here. You and feathers. Ooh, I know where this is going. More feathers. Arrows. So, rope. Wood. Give me the bow. Uh, and arrows. And arrows. You're the bow. There's a lot of arrows to make a bow. <laughs> Just saying. What else do we have here? You and you and you and you and you. Three of them. Wow. That is a sky spirit trinket when installed on a tool. Through an upgrade station, an extra strike can be performed while airborne. Oh, so there's going to be an upgrade station. We can take our tools and imbue them with extra properties. I guess that's what we're saying. Okay. Wow, this just goes on. You and you and you and you and you makes a stone-tipped arrow. As compared to a bone-tipped arrow. I see. Okay. You, and you, and you, and one of you, and another one of you. That's an expensive one. A bone sword. Ooh. That's, that's an expensive one, but it's worth it. In fact, hmm. I kind of want to make that one. I do. So give me more of these guys. I need two more. Uh, I need sharp stones. You... Okay, and you. Alright, we're out of bones, but that will give us the. Where are tools? The bone sword. Because I want to go to one of the corruption islands today and see what that's all about. But let's continue learning everything that we can here. You're a bone sickle. Okay, and that's the end of the bone. No, it's not. It's saying right there and there. That gives us a bone door kip. Okay. Bone and rope. And that makes a bone axe. And we're done with bone. What else can we do with the rope? Stone sword. Okay. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't tell you what the hit points are until you in there until you've made it right we just made why is it not showing up here did I not make it um tab I 
There you are. You are number one. I guess I hadn't acknowledged it yet. Okay, let's try this again. E. No. Stone. Why are these lit up? Because these are all new? I'm not sure. I mean, we've made these. This was not given to us. We had to discover all of them. So why are these lit up? And these are not. Though we've made that one. Hmm. Don't know. Um, what? Escape doesn't get me out of this. Okay. Build? There I am. Well, that took a while. I want to get to my inventory right here. So you are damage of 27 to 40. Probably depending on whether you hit the the swing of the arc just right and time it to get a boost. I'm guessing. Okay. Back to this real quick, though. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. What else can you make with wood? Another trinket sort of thing, right? A spyglass. Ah, that's the magnifying portion of, of these wind stones. Um, don't have enough rope. I could make more rope, though. We have 15 of these guys. Let's do that. We'll stop there. Spyglass. One of you. And pull out. Oh, I see. I had to get rid of all those items in the... Okay. So you are a number eight. Curious. Eight. Where'd that island go? It's right there. Oh. Emerald Isle. Oh, they have names? They have names? Emerald Island. Or is it that I'm on Emerald Island? I'm on Emerald Island. Okay. So over here... Yeah, it, it definitely loses some definition by the time you look out there. Interesting. Uh, on our own island? The color's pretty good. Oh, hey, there's... That's where half my logs rolled. Okay, I gotta go find those. Okay, back up here. So I've got a door at the bottom. One hidden through another door in at the bottom over here. So we come up here. And I've discovered many things. But, uh, oops. Four. Let's finish these off. Right there. Okay. So door into here or over there as well. I threw a staircase up here. That's when I first started playing with the little half staircases. Which got me into here and up onto this floor. And up here. Yeah, we got to figure out what this is going to be. I don't really like the staircase at this placement up here. But I don't know if there's any way around that. It would be nice to come off the stairs and go right over there. But I left this all open for it to look good. What I did discover, though, is what these guys are for. You right there. So we can pop this in, say right there, and let's rotate that around so it looks right. And then we click and drag, or just click and, and move. We can set this down like so. Let's see, I would want probably that position. And then let's rotate some more. So basically, it will the beams, they call them, will stretch as far as you want. And really, it's just for aesthetics. That one's bowed out, isn't it? Yeah, that looks kind of funky. <laughs> but, well, I got dark quick. They're very hard to place, I found. I went down underneath trying to make this look good down here. And, you know... You can destroy this whole bottom floor and the rest of it will stay floating just like in Minecraft. So it isn't an issue of support, unlike there was a game that I saw that you had to put posts and pillars everywhere to support the floors above. Kind of like um, um, Going Medieval does too. And if you take something out, everything above collapses. So this game, thankfully, is not like that. But I was thinking about doing something along these lines just to make it look good and if we went right there 
it's rather hard to figure out where to drop that thing. You know, I can make it look straight like this, but am I going too far forward or backward? Let me just try right there and see. Yeah, we're kind of bent like that. You can't see, and it doesn't snap, and to my knowledge, it doesn't. Let me try play with something here. You and reattach you there. Now, if I were to play with the auto... Yeah, the rotation. It's R for choosing manual or automatic. It doesn't do anything. Now, there is a snap right there. What are you? Nope, you're backwards. So, yeah, those are not easy to place yet. So, I would imagine they're, you know, they know full well that people are a little frustrated with these, and they're probably working on that. But, yeah, this should be a, a true, you know, vertical, horizontal, and, you know, the 90 degree snaps all around, and then break away from that you can place it where you want or something along those lines but that's how the pillars work anyway we now have the we now have this sword and I was looking at my inventory let's go drop these guys off I don't need to really bring anything with me other than foods to go and play war over there um, foods meaning they give you a boost to uh, your health and whatnot. Let's see, drop you guys there. Uh, can I do the rope tree now? I might be able to now that we've gone further. Yeah, right there. So you might look good right in there. So you hang all the ropes. Good. And what else is new? We got a rope basket, which I think holds a lot more. I need five ropes though, so that's not gonna happen. What are you? Beacons. Simple, stackable structures, great to leave a trace, can be seen through a spyglass. Interesting. Look at all the choices in there. Let's click you and... So, automatic, um, three. I don't know if they do different things. They're different colors. So, maybe it's the colors that show up. Are you... I'm not sure where you would put that. Huh. You look like a stump. And a fancier stump. Monolith kind of things. Hmm. Don't know. So there's a lot here that I have not really explored yet. Um, anything new in storage? We've seen all of these. Don't know what that is. Long leaf cloth, a stretchy fabric used to create custom shapes. Okay, I didn't look any closer. Is there a... No, there's no one, two, and three to stretch it and choose different directions. So, nope, still don't know what that is. I do know that we have these guys, which uses the same material. So we've got, uh, you know, three different shapes of, of sails now to get this island moving someday. Not this episode, but someday. I'm too, I'm having too much fun just building right now. Um, I'm waiting for daytime. Let's go ahead and get the bonus. I've got food that is here. So we've got our potatoes for max hit points plus six for five minutes kind of thing. And what's the water? Uh, water is stamina plus 20. Okay, and the corn. Yeah, all these have benefits. Could use a few more of those though. Um, is that here? Was there crafting here for... Maybe there's not. Let's go up and see this on the workbench. Get a few more bandages before we leave. Um, there you are. Looks like I can do at least one. Be nice if on this page somewhere I told you how many of these there were. It does when you're constructing, but it doesn't do it here. Okay, well, we'll stop at three because. Yeah. Pull out of that. It's. Those aren't uh, something I've got a lot of, I don't think. Um, so I'm back in inventory? I am. There you are. You are a bunch of seeds. Could leave all these behind. I don't know what happens to me if I die. Boy, storm coming up, so we'll wait this one out. Um, if I lose the battle here, maybe... I do... Why did I just get wet? 
Do we have a... Yeah, there it is. Do I have a hole in the roof? Something dripped on me. <laughs> okay, so where should I put some more of these storage baskets? And maybe think about putting seeds and things and leaving them here. Hmm. Um, build, storage, you. Ten of ten, so there's a number. I have just ten of those. So let's put another one of you where? Can I easily get to that? The the rear one if I put two right here. We'll try it. Why did that just sound like someone knocked on my door? I need a window here, don't I? Who's out there? <laughs> Which door was it? Hmm. Yeah, I need a window right there. Okay, it's dark in this place. There's no sense of lighting that I can find so far. And I still haven't found the torch. Um, now I have got these windows, and they aren't truly a covered window, so that might play into this a bit. I did pop a little porch out here, that one square that that uh, wasn't easily to build, you know, to build around. So. Anyway, let's get to bed, I think so. Let's get some daylight so we can see what's going on. It's just too dark in this place. And wait for the at peace. And is there a way to get out besides jumping? Tab? No. Move? Just hit the W. Oh, W does that. Hmm. Space bar makes you jump right on out and you don't hit your head but that one hit your head okay so I guess we're not going to head over to the other place just yet um let's grab uh, 200 and make a bunch of these guys until we run out about 33 I grab, I grab two hundred of them. Sixty-six, sixty-seven. What am I missing here? Did I already have leaves on me? Apparently, I did. Okay, well that's where we're stopping. You drop into there. I got plenty of you. So that storage is over here, right? Yeah. Let's put, let's put fifty in here. See that one? It starts to to fill up more. These were just a frame before I put the logs in. These are all empty, so the pile will get a lot bigger as we put more in it. Um, now, why did I do that? I think. Oh, I wanted to make another one of these baskets. So B U. Right in there. I think I can reach both of them. Let's find out. So if I go over, yes, I can. All right. So open. Do we leave things like seeds behind? So, yes, we can. Not enough. So this one. And we'll, I guess. No, we'll put that one back. What was in this one? These guys. Um, so your wool. Your food. Hmm. Just trying to decide what to do here. Coal, let's take the food away and put things like bones, shards, that. Rope, rope goes up on the rope tree. Right here. Okay, first rope's hanging on it. We have a little piece of wool, but don't really have a wool storage yet because I don't know what to do with it. But... I guess now nah, we'll toss it in the general storage here, so you can stay there. Um, so you go up there. You can drop into this area. These are food-like things, so we'll toss food in there. And I guess we'll just leave that on us. All right. So what is left? Have you? I don't know what to do with you. Toss you there. 
Okay. Um, there, 11 of those. I want lots of space available in my inventory just in case. I actually have a lot to bring back. Uh, rain has stopped. So what else needs to be done? Can I just go? I think I can. All right. Let's... Oh, I did go into options. And I got a suggestion and a comment that I appreciate that. Um, any other hints and tips that you guys who have played it, go ahead and toss them in. I may already know them, but there will be others that come along behind and look through the comments and would be you know, appreciative of those tips too. But in gameplay, uh, the first and third person, so that's available. Camera shake, language, what am I thinking of? Controls. You can invert the glider, Y axis, so W and S, up and down, as well as the camera and a number of other things. So let's. Now I can jump. And keep my W pushed, and I go up instead of going down. Instead of having to quickly slam that uh, that S key to try to keep going, let's put a boost into here. Don't need much. Keep lifting. I want to go over here to that one chest that we we lost something, or we left something behind. I don't want to use up a lot of my stamina. Though. I'm not sure how quickly it returns, and I like to have it for that island over there. So let's just coast in here. I think this is where those chests were. Up a little bit, and drop. Okay, so those chests were off to this side, and it was the second one? You are empty. <clears throat> and you... I had... For some reason, I didn't see these. I was focused entirely up here, and I never saw them. Uh, shift you guys in. Looks like grain. I think you use this to feed the animals with, like, the birds. So you are flower. Oh, never mind. Okay. I don't think there's anything else here that we missed. I think we're fine there. So, one. Let's take a look at this. Glide combat. Okay. A combo. When you press the left mouse button... When the marker is in the yellow zone to perform combo attacks. Oh, so that's your boost, essentially. Okay. Like comboing when you're cutting trees and getting that fancy swoop at the end. Block is simply holding down the right mouse button. Shove, while you're holding the right mouse button, press that blocking to shove enemies in front of you. So what, moving forward? Not sure. Dodge is space while moving sideways or backwards to quickly dodge in the same direction. So, one. And space while moving backwards. Oh, backwards. Let's see if I can do that. Sideways and space. So it's a real quick speeding up of whatever you're doing. There's dodge. And if I were to... Ah, so it's the left button. And what I was trying to explain last time, let me do that real quick too. Building, well you couldn't see because my camera was in the wrong place. Uh, building this guy. So what you couldn't see was the words place and hold right mouse to destroy. Hold right mouse to destroy, I don't have an example here. Let's build you. I have no wood. Ah, not a great time to tell you. Anyway, it looks like you just hold the right mouse button to destroy, but you have to hold the right mouse button and keep it there, and then you click the left one, and that does the destroying. So that wasn't obvious from the commands there. All right, so I think all my homework is done. We have you to do and potentially you to do. Now, in case I don't get much time to explain it while I'm there, we're going to attack a structure, and in the process of that, We'll call them mushroom goblins will be coming out and coming after us. We could completely destroy the, the structure immediately and they would disappear. But by taking them down one by one, we get their loot. So that's going to be a thing. Let's go see what we've got. And stamina did come back. Oops. That's the wrong one. Stamina is that one. <laughs> now let's coast around. The structure is this white thing in the middle with... Oh, there's two of them. 
Let's go up a little higher. Yeah, there's two of them on this one that have that little tree thing with a bulb at the top. So there'll be two sets of enemies to attack here. Okay, I think the biggest one is... No, they look like they're both about the same. Alright, let's drop in. And there are mushroom-like things that if you stand next to them, they explode. So I kind of want to be aware of it when we're done. Our reward is right here. Can we do this now? No. Okay, I've got to cleanse the node. These are nodes. And as we do it, there will be something that appears underneath that if we destroy that, we win. But we then don't get the loot. Just looking everything over here. I don't see any of those mushrooms that ex... Whoa, oh, hello. One? Yep. And they do hit you, too. Alright, anybody else around here? Alright, what did I get out of that? I got one of those. Nobody's moving around. Okay, so I want time to be able to talk as well as to do something like that. Um, e. And let's drink that just for fun. Okay, out of that. And let's take this down. That is my sword. Okay, in water. Let's do the one that's not in water first. I was looking for those exploding mushrooms. I don't want to accidentally back into one. Take this guy out. And these guys pop in. Now it's hard to get the combo because you're panicked. Just hit, you're hitting that button. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Take this guy down. Let's leave that and take this guy down. What is that in there? Okay, come on out, guys. Give me your loots. Oh, ouch. Now, I do have to watch my health. I'm gonna learn how to do this. Okay, take you out. Any more bad guys coming at me? Not yet. This is kind of a, a practice island, we'll call it. You. And it goes away. So if I had do dove in there real quick and taken that out immediately... All those bad guys would have disappeared too. But I wouldn't have gotten all of these as a result. That's how you find your rope. Don't know if there's other ways to find that or not, but that does come from them. Anything else in this island? Yes. Open. You are a little critter. Mountain goat. Billy goat, I'll call him. But you've got a disease of some kind. We need to find the cure. It's on most of these things. Whatever causes the corruption on these islands is also causing a disease. And these guys have something to do with it. This comes from the creatures we're, we're fighting. And it is corrupted too. You see the something infected in there, in the middle of all that. And it has to do with finding a search for the cure. So, anything else on this island? This is where you'll find bones and things like that. Gather carrots. Okay. What is that? That's just a stone. And then we've got our learning stone over here. I want to make sure I've got everything out of here that we can get. We'll check down below there too, but the ground looks pretty empty here. Cooking plate. These, I believe, you place around your fire and then you can make meals on it. So we did find the sickle. We didn't make it. Making the sickle allows us to cut through a lot of the, the different plants and use them for various things. Anything in the water? I don't know if you could collect it anyway if it's in the water because I think you would just end up collecting the, uh, the water itself. Carrots barely see them all right that it here side some rocks and I don't mind gathering these quick and easy all right um, I'll take you as well it might be some reason I've got to construct something over there It'd be nice to have a little bit of basic materials on me okay so let's go for some more foods we'll grab a pumpkin and grab a potato that'll I am full 
I am completely full. So nothing more I can do. I can use this guy to heal myself. Sleeping... Pro oh, I see. I can only do two things at once. That must be it. All right. So we came from... Where's home? Home is... I thought it was there. No home symbol. Okay. We came from there. That's home. But either we're too close or not close enough. Hmm. Let's... Whoops. There we go. Let's go do something over here while there's still daylight. Anything else on this island? Underneath? No. Okay. So boost over there. There's home. So we had to get closer. Alright, that should be enough to get us there. Is there something underneath? Mm, no. Not sure what that is. Let's drop in right here at the edge. Oh! Those! Those go boom! More booms! <laughs> that guy probably will too. Destroy the nodes. Yeah. Oh, something's... Something's crawling around here. You. So you gotta back up afterward. Even though you've hit them, there's something else crawling around in here. I hear him walking. Hmm. Now, you can use these to your advantage. If they're chasing you, you can run past them. There's a like a two second delay. And they may go boom on your enemies chasing you. Alright, you... Alright, take you out. Gotcha. But we're going to be fighting in the dark. That's not good. Alright, learn more. Yeah, he's saying, dude, you're a noob. Learn how to use that sword. I... We could do more in the rain, but I'm getting a big disadvantage by being wet. And you guys can't see as much. So I think I'm going to attempt to fly home. Find home. Oh, it's just, it's really dark when you're on the island too. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's head home. Get a good night's sleep. There we go. Alright, let's grab some sleep. What is that, two? Get the daylight back. And this time we will jump out of bed. Okay, didn't didn't hit my head when I did that. Okay. Uh, ropes. Uh, that one. So let's drop off all the supplies. You. You. This one. And... Uh, no, that's not ropes. Okay. But we do have food. You... Yeah, so you can go in there. You really don't fit there. Was there a space left in this one? No. Um, I can take that one and then move... Where'd that go? You into there. Okay, that kind of fits there better. Um, so where do we leave something like this? We could make one more basket, I assume. Yeah, let's do that. Grab you. I think it was five that I needed. And let's put one, let's put two of them right there. Build. You got something new. What are you? A granary. Ooh. Let's do that. Of course, I don't know where the kitchen is going to be. It was planks. Uh, grab that. And it was... I think it said more of this. Now, what was the other thing? B. Just leaves. Oh, okay. Grab a stack of you. So, 
granary foo. That's probably going to be down here somewhere. So we got that storage going on. Yeah, this could be food prep, if that is a thing. So we got a little half wall there. Let's see how big the granary is. You, you're a full something. And I found out that I can push it through the wall here. I built all that storage up there, then took another look, and half of it was outside. So you do have to be aware of where things are being placed. And I didn't actually stop to see if there was a front. I guess that's the door there. Open. Okay, so in that case, let's grab you and toss all of you in. You two can go in there. So that leaves us all with only seeds out here. Okay. You are the foods, but what actually fits in the foods? I guess that's going to be a thing. Will you fit? You will. Okay, you three. And then what? <clears throat> guess I could put these in there, or at least half a stack. Split. Now. Oh, split and hold on to it. Okay. So split. Split and drop. Okay. Let's put half of everything that we've got. Um, put you over there. Half of you guys. Just in case we do lose everything. I'm not completely at a loss here. Alright. So that will keep with us. You guys will put all that away. And let's get back up to that other island. So open you for leaves. You for... Nope you for those and one more you go there and for now let's just drop this down in here all right off we go now we came from we're going that way no okay that one this one. It was that way. Oops. <laughs> nope. Wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> Alright, let's... I think it's past this. There. That must be the ones we're at. Okay. Now that I got used to going up with S, I have to really stop and think. Now, wh what button do I push? Okay, so where can I drop that doesn't drop me into a boom-boom? That's interesting right there. I think that's safe. That's the wrong one. Those are boom-booms right there. That was close. Okay. Over here. And that noise means something just sprouted out of the ground, right? Or is it just noises that this thing makes? These little tufts right here, I think they are. Well, some of them are actually the enemies that just show up on their own. That's a boom boom. So if I were to go over here and come back... Nope, it is. maybe it's just the red ones. Maybe it's just the red ones. If I were to... Yep, I can carve my own path through here. Don't gain anything from that. Right, right. Just clears my path. What is all of that? It's interesting. So these big purple ones. Okay, nothing happened. It's just the red ones you gotta watch out for. Well, let's clear a pathway so I can see. I can't clear these. Gather. Oh, get branches here, okay. What is that thing in the ground? Nothing. Okay. So where's the next node? Right over there. I need some room to fight. Okay, are you a boom boom? You are not. Alright, I guess this is it. Hello? Oh, I guess I took out one. 
that popped out just as I hit it. Okay. Or did I destroy the node? No, I didn't. Alright. Got you. Have I missed anyone? No. Really corralled in here, huh? You're kind of stuck, aren't you? So, bow and arrow would be nice. That's right, we did find it, huh? We have to get into that one soon to see what that's all about. Alright, so that's kind of cleared off this top level. Alright, so no boom booms up here. We need to go down to... Here, probably down one level. Let's get down into here. Nothing's going to explode on me. I'm in water. Cracks or creaking. Sticks breaking. Looking for enemies. Looking for little red mushrooms. Something's walking around. Or is that me? Sometimes my own footsteps show up. Silent, and then all of a sudden I'm walking, and then it goes silent again. Okay, why am I not seeing another node? It's not you. This island must be a little bigger than I gave it credit. Okay, down in here. There's a boom boom right over there, those two red ones. So let's go this way. So if we have to, we can run the enemies past those. But we need to find the enemies. Alright, so there's the exploding ones. I'd like to go around those. Why can't I get that to open up for me? Over here. And drop right here. Okay. Got around them. I'm not seeing another node. Huh. Let's go around a little bit. Where is... Oh, there it is. Okay, it's right up in there. And drop. Yep, I, I hear ya. Oh, fell on ya. Okay. Am I empty? Or am, I, am I clear? I am. Let's grab some bonuses here. You and you. Oh, that's right. E and E. Okay. There we go. Sword. And let's do it. Now, there are some bigger enemies that pop out. May not be the right place to do it. Maybe another island, maybe. Or maybe it's, you know, the number of islands that you've hit. Your third island or something. There's another node somewhere. Aha. Well, let's just go and find it. Boy, when you're in here, it will not pop your glider with two clicks. On my own island, I can... Oops, up. I can just just run and jump and then space space and my wings are out. It's not letting me do that here. Okay. Oops. Alright, stay up here. Nope. No boom booms. And I still don't see the other node. Okay. Alright, let's go up high and find that node. Wait a minute, I see something over there. There you are. W goes up. Right there at the edge. How did I not see that? Okay, any boom booms? No. There we go. Next to the boom booms. Okay, then let's clear a path out over here. So I can move around. And maybe... They will bump into the boom booms instead. All right. Oh, there's a bigger boss. Oh, 
Okay. That's two. It's usually three. Are you around? You're not. There we go. Got it. Fading away. Oh, you're interesting. So, we've got more captives behind these barriers that we need the cure to fix. You are a little guy who needs a cure. Okay. And some of those, unfortunately, will... I think it means we were too late. There would just be bones in them. Oh! We need a sickle and we can get wheat over here. Interesting. How long have I been going? Oh, about 50-ish minutes. Okay. Just kind of thought about... Anyway, how long have I been doing this? <laughs> how long is this episode? Let's wander around see if we can find bones or anything besides wheat. That's possibly new. This is a good-sized little island here. I hear a windstone, or a learning stone. It sounds like it's either above or it's, there's a, a cave in here somewhere. Alright, so anything under us? Any cave entrances? No. Alright, so we'll work our way up above that little hill there. Anything on the ground out here? You are bones. Okay, I got one bone out of that. Stones. Oh, your tree. Nothing out here. You're nothing. <clears throat> nope, not supposed to do that. Okay. Like that. Alright, so we got this guy. More bones. Any other specialized items here? And we do know there's going to be sheep somewhere, so there are other things to find yet. Haven't seen them all. Alright, so whatever we want is probably up there. But I still want to make... What are you? Stone, but... Why are you glowing? Interesting. It might just be telling me this is new. Cut this. But we don't have the sickle right now. Alright, so I'm going to have to fly up there, aren't I? Well, maybe right here. Maybe. Nope. Okay. Let's go up and around. There you are. Yep, that is easier to invert this. W, space, space, and just keep going. The table map. Oh, that's cool. Whoops. We'll see if we can't get that one built before this episode's over. Um, where have we not been? So we've seen this whole upper floor getting dark again. We've seen most of that lower one. Is there anything in between, like over here in this edge? If there was, we probably wouldn't even be able to see it, huh? Alright, so I may be done with this one. We know this wheat over here. All right, jump. So we still have this one to do, but not in the dark. Um, underneath, I don't see any entrances. Home's over there. Also, I was advised that these tornadoes are actually updrafts. And they will fire you way into the sky. So use them to your advantage if you need to get higher or lower. You know, up there, grab an updraft and go on up. But let's head down to home and build that map table. And we'll call this one done. Alright, where am I going? I guess here's good enough. Home. 
I think it's right up there through these trees. So little by little, I'm going to go through and cut a lot of the trees down, a lot of the rocks out of here, clearing pathways so I've got a line of sight around this place. It is difficult to get around. There's home. Interesting. It looked like the house symbol was way over there. Home is this way. So, how do we get more light in? If anybody has played this game before, are there... I, I've seen in the, in the trailer the character was holding a torch. Are there going to be wall torches? If not, should we think about some kind of a skylight system so that we can... Um, so hold your right and then click your left. Let's go a little lower. Right there. So we can get some moonlight in by maybe putting in some smaller versions of this. That's half and half. So we could do... Hmm... We could do this. No. I want you to go outward. There. Could do that. And I suppose we could do U and E. E. Like that, but smaller. So down there and no I guess it would be bigger okay three right there and right there and then do I have wood on me I do not grab some wood trying to find there's a lot of flexibility in the in the building system I had wood why didn't that show up I don't know we'll grab more and some of you but, yeah, with all these little versions of little triangles, big triangles, you can, there's, there's a whole lot of flexibility here. So I could do something maybe like this, um, four. Okay, and what? Build, you, um, you? Now, so bigger you. It's kind of a window, though we don't have the concept of glass. But that would let more light in. Huh. We could even get small versions of the slanted roofs and make a little gable there, make a you know a different kind of dormer. Ooh, I have an escape route. <laughs> anyway, let's build that uh, map table and call this done. Enough goofing around. It's kind of... Well, tell you what. Let's sleep so we can get some daylight. I think that's, that's better for the video. There we go. So, do that and that last little pause and jump out of there. Where does the map table go? That's out in here, isn't it? Seems like that would be. So... I want to move you. Something like that. And you grab anything, right click, and boom. Okay. Now, map table. You. Now. You are a fire, campfire, and cooking plate. Can we have this indoors? I don't know. Table map. An intricate contraption useful for orientation and tracking your exploration progress. So stone, planks, and logs. I don't have planks. Grab you. We need to make some more. So maybe next time we'll play around with the automation. And get the, the windmill that is spinning rope, spinning our sawmill, and see how that all works. Um, build you, you're huge. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Maybe you are upstairs. 
Oh, yeah. Right there. Can I get on this? There. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I wish I'd rotate a little bit more. So that's what we've seen so far. We still have three corrupted islands around us. There's something way off in the distance, and we have all of this yet to travel on the outer ring if we want to, or we head on into the inner rings to the storm in the middle. How much of this exists in the demo, I don't know. So I don't know if we have another two or three episodes ahead of us or if we have another th 20 or 30. I don't know what's truly in this demo, and I don't know if there is a time limit. If I'm going to log in and you know a week from now and suddenly it's not there anymore. So be prepared for the possibility of a sudden uh, you know disappointment of me just just me for for a one minute video saying sorry guys it's gone. So I don't know what the rules are for a demo. It's there's enough game here right now for me to have a ball for a long time. So I don't even need the full game at this point. <laughs> Anyway, I think it's time to call this one done. Got quite the, uh, let's see here. Do that. Let's go up. Spin around. Quite the, uh, the amount of game already. There's the house. And any thoughts and suggestions and something you'd like to see. See how the game deals with this or that or what have you. Let me know. There's our quick makeshift dormer. Anyway, let's call this one finished. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.